So in yesterday's video, I showed you guys an ABC deck profile with the addition of the brand new Revolution Synchron and how that card breaks the deck. Now you guys might have seen that deck profile and thought to yourself, well, what exactly does this card do? And I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video because in today's video, we're going to be doing some ABC combos that you need to know revolving around the brand new Revolution Synchron. Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spanko, and I'm excited because today, I'm going to be showing you guys some combos for ABC with the brand new edition of Revolution Synchron. Now, if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel. We do deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that. We also do shorts five days a week. So you guys are always going to have something to watch and you guys are going to get a little bit of everything, which is absolutely insane. And, uh... Yes, I did say my content is insane, so you guys need to subscribe to see all of that. Now, I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long, so let's get right into the combos. Okay, so for our first combo over here, we're going to get right into it, showing off the power of Revolution Synchron. And I really want to show you guys the full potential of this card and how much it buffs ABC. Now, in this combo, it is a two-card combo. All you need is Revolution Synchron and a Union Hanger. But keep in mind, you're going to be playing three Union Hanger plus Terraforming. You're going to be playing three Revolution Synchron plus one to two tunings in your deck. So for that reason, you're always going to be able to have these cards in your hand. And this deck is so consistent with cards like Prosperity and whatnot that it's really easy to have this two-card combo. Now, of course, if you have more more than these two cards then you can continue going and do even more but in this case we're just going to pretend like we only have these two cards we're going to start off by activating our hanger here essentially the first part of the combo is going to be your standard abc stuff so you're going to search your b you're going to be able to summon your b and then you're going to activate the hanger again which means you're going to get to equip a card however typically what we like to equip here after the union driver we're always using the union driver first by the way because you need the extra summon so typically what we like to do is we like to go a because you don't have anything for c at the moment but actually what you're going to want to do is go c here because it's going to be really important later on in the combo then what we're going to do is activate our c so that we can summon it to our side of the field but we don't want to use it just yet what we want to do is we want to use our b buster drake and our revolution synchron now something to keep in mind that's really really important is we're going to be making ancient fairy dragon here using the revolution synchron in our hand as well as the b on our field however we're not activating the revolution synchron effect to do this this is not an activated effect and it's really important to keep that in mind because it's not something your opponent can just negate right if you're just summoning it you're using it as a synchro summon from your hand right so now what we're going to be doing is summoning our ancient fairy dragon and then we're going to be able to activate our b buster drake over here to now search the last piece that we need which is our a assault core and what's really cool about this is at this point we've only committed three summons we've summoned our b we've summoned our c and now we've summoned our ancient fairy dragon well how can we play around nibiru and this is something that the deck does really well is we're always going to be able to play and combo where we're not actually going to lose to Nibiru. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate the Ancient Fairy Dragon effect to destroy all field spells and then get to search a Disc Coliseum from our deck. So we're going to have this Disc Coliseum and the Disc Coliseum of course we're going to activate it here so that we can search our Regulus. Now you guys might be thinking okay Spanko so now you have Regulus to negate the Nibiru. No because even though yes that could kind of be a play you actually don't want to do that because you want to end with the Regulus on board. You don't actually want to use the Regulus and get it off the field because that Nibiru is trading for your Regulus and then your opponent when it goes to their turn has a lot less to deal with right however you can still play this where you're still playing under Nibiru because again you've only committed three summons so what you can do is you can activate your Revolution Synchron now in the graveyard to summon it as a level one tuner now the really cool thing here is we actually from the top of our deck got rid of a assault core which is huge by the way but we're going to pretend that we didn't because it does affect the combo of course if you're milling cards like the Strudo or one of your pieces then the combo gets pushed even further we're just going to pretend we didn't hit that a what we're going to do here though is going to summon our revolution synchron this is four summons so what are we going to do on our fifth we're going to be able to make our crystal wing over here on our fifth summon so now even if your opponent has the bureau you have crystal wing for it and crystal wing is not getting itself off the field which is absolutely insane and it's really really important so now what we're going to do is we're going to activate our regulus here targeting our b because we really want to abuse these effects as much as possible like the pieces so we're going to summon our regulus and then we're going to equip our b to it and then we're going to be able to summon our b now something i want to mention is it's really important where you place the regulus here because you're going to be going into platinum gadget so i'm going to show you guys kind of how the combo works so you're going to summon your b you're going to use these two to go into platinum gadget because that's how you're going to get your a on the board right again imagining the a is not in our graveyard from the card that we milled so we're going to be using our platinum gadget here and then we're going to be able to activate c and b however keep in mind that if these zones over here 
for your crystal wing and your theon regulars let's say these zones that the platinum gadget points to if they're blocked you're gonna kind of mess yourself up in this combo so you really want to make sure you don't play into those zones because the zones actually do matter here all right so we're gonna activate our effects here by the way and then we're gonna use our chain link one as our b and then our chain link two as our c again typically at this point if your opponent had ash or something they would have ashed already but it's still good practice to always go chain link one b chain link two c because this way you can chain block your b right so c is gonna activate to summon our a again we're not gonna want to block our zones because we're gonna need this effect later and then here what we're gonna do with our b is actually search another b so now what we're gonna be able to do is activate our platinum gadget to summon this b onto our side of the field and then we're gonna be able to use these two cards to either go into a rank four monster but what i like to do is actually like to just go into an ip mascarina because you can use the ip and the platinum gadget into apollo on your opponent's turn and then we're gonna be able to activate the b here again of course and the a because at this point we have two b's in the graveyard so we're gonna go chain link one b and again, you're trying to chain block, so chain link 2A, all right? So at this point, what we can do is we can add the extra B to our hand so that we have fodder. And then the B is also gonna be able to search. We could search anything at this point. Could be a C, could be another B, doesn't really matter. Let's just search a C again, it doesn't really matter. And then what we have now is we have our buster set up in our graveyard. So we're gonna go one, two, and three from our graveyard, summon buster. All right, so at this point, Look at this board, all right? This is off two cards and you're not playing into Nibiru, okay? The only real hand trap that really hurts this board is Droll because this deck does search a lot, but you're not playing into Nibiru. If your opponent has an Ash, as long as you have an extra piece in your hand, because again, this is only two card combo. So if a third card is a piece, you can still play through Ash as well, which is absolutely insane. So what we're ending on here is a Banish off of Buster and Negate off of Regulus and Negate off of Crystal Wing. And then we're gonna use these two to go into Apple, right? And then if we go into Apple, Apple's gonna have two Negates, so that's five disruptions. But keep in mind that if we use the Regulus and then we use the Buster to tag out to get our pieces onto the field, then we we can use IP plus our pieces plus platinum gadget to go into Apple, which could potentially get us four negates. And then on top of that, we're gonna get the pieces to get more cards in our hand. So at a minimum, you have five disruptions here, but you can have up to seven or eight, I think the math is, it might be eight disruptions off of a two card combo, which is absolutely insane. So I know the last combo showed off Revolution Synchron, which is all what we're here for. But for anyone who's new to playing ABC, I'm gonna show you guys this typical two card combo. Hanger plus any piece gets this combo, which is insane. So we're gonna be able to activate Hanger to search a piece. So again, if you have an A, you search a B. If you have a B, you search, it doesn't matter what you search. You just get your pieces to your hand, which is the most important thing. And then we're gonna be able to normal summon our B here, no matter what you're getting to B, because that's what you're gonna search off the Hanger if you don't open it. And then we're gonna be able to equip Driver, Driver effect over here to equip our C. And then we're gonna be able to activate our C to summon it to our side of the field. And then we can use these two into a platinum gadget. So this is just a very typical ABC combo that I feel like if you're new to ABC, you should know. So what we're gonna do here is again, we're gonna chain block always with our B. So we're gonna activate our B as chain link one. And then we're gonna be activating our C as chain link two. And then we're gonna be able to summon our A assault core. And then we're gonna be able to add to our hand any piece. So the piece we're gonna be adding off B is probably gonna be another B. Because now what we can do is we can activate our platinum gadget to summon the B to a zone that it points to, and then use these two to go into your IP Mascarena over here. And then now you can activate the effect of B over here, because keep in mind, you have two Bs, so you're gonna activate the A and the B, but again, B is always gonna be chain link one. So chain link one B, and then you're gonna be able to go chain link two A, so that this way you're gonna have a card in your hand, so you're gonna add the extra B, and then the B is gonna be able to search as well. So again, doesn't really matter what piece you search, depending on what your hand is looking like. And then you're ending on ABC Buster Dragon. So add a minimum here you're ending on abc buster plus ip mascarena which is really important because there's a lot more depth to this combo than what you can see just right here on the screen so again buster dragon is going to have a banish for you but then you're going to also be able to tag this out to get three pieces onto your side of the field when you get those three pieces onto your side of the field union hanger is then going to activate to equip another piece and then you can use the ip mascarenas plus the pieces plus the card your opponent controls to go into underworld goddess so that's a form of disruption or the other option of course is just to go into appaloosa and then Apple is going to be able to have four disruptions for you. So no matter the situation, even the most simplistic of boards is always going to be able to put up three to five disruptions just at a minimum. All right, so for this last combo, I want to show you guys a situation where you draw your driver, which always sucks. Now, personally, I always like to play two drivers so that this situation never occurs. However, I know some of you guys like to play one driver. So what do you do if you draw the driver with this two card combo that I showed you guys earlier? On top of that, this line is also going to be showing you guys a hot red dragon abyss line which is a little bit different from the build if you guys watch my deck profile i'm not playing that line personally i think it's just a little bit too much you're extending too much however if you guys want to go that route 
it's a very powerful route for that i want to really show you guys how to combo with this right and shout out to mst tv he's the one that actually kind of put this combo together and i just wanted to give him a shout out because typically i don't make these kind of combos because i play two driver but i can understand some people play one let's get right into it though because i feel like i've been taking too much of your time this is going to start off pretty similar to how all your combos start off you're going to activate hanger you're going to search your b and then what you're going to be able to do is normal summon your b but in this case again like i said because you're only playing the one driver here you guys can see we're playing two but because we're only playing the one driver in this scenario what we're going to do is we're going to equip our c crush wyvern right away now we can't summon this because it was equipped off of hanger so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go straight into our ancient fairy dragon using our revolution synchron as well as our b to go into ancient fairy and then we're going to try to chain block as always i always say like you really need to chain block because it's just good practice and it gets you into the habit of it so in the future it never comes back to bite you right so at this point c is going to summon our union driver which is pretty important because we need to get this onto the field and then b is going to get to trigger and because we're playing the abyss line we're actually going to search our torque to gear which is pretty important here and then what we're going to do actually is going to activate our ancient fairy dragon at this point we're going to pretend like we're not afraid of nibiru keep in mind you can easily play around nibiru here but we're just going to pretend like we're not playing around nibiru because we're not afraid of our opponent having it all right let's just pretend that's the case here so we're going to search our disc coliseum we're going to be able to activate the revolution synchron here to summon itself onto the field keep in mind again we can play around nibiru we can make crystal wing here but let's just pretend we're not okay just because we want to show you guys how powerful this combo and how far this combo can go and then we also got rid of a b which is insane but again we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen all right we're gonna activate our coliseum to add a regulus and then now we're gonna be able to use our regulus here but instead of targeting a b which you guys think we might target because of course b is so powerful we're actually gonna target our c here so we're gonna be able to summon our regulus and then target our c now this is pretty good because if your opponent did have nibiru by any chance and they want to nibiru now you have your regulus so if they don't nibiru before you can nibiru now but you have your regulus at least so so if your opponent did have a nibiru and they didn't do it at the right time then it wouldn't matter right so what we're going to do now is we're going to use our c to activate it and summon it to our side of the field and then we're actually going to use the union driver to equip to our c and this is pretty important because now we can actually use the union driver to equip another piece to our c and be able to summon that piece so the missing piece that we have here is our a right so we're going to be able to equip our a and then we're going to be able to use our a and summon it to our side of the field so now we have our a onto our side of the field so now looking at this board you guys might be thinking expect where are you going with this all right so you're going to use the revolution synchron which is a level one and then you're going to use your sea crush wyvern which is a level four to make a level five synchro and the level five synchro we're making is samsara so we're going to go revolution and c specifically you want to go c because you need to summon the torque two gear here right so that's why you want to go c so you go c now and then you're going to be able to summon our torque two gear now torque two gear has a really cool effect where you can equip it to a card and the card that is equipped to is treated as a tuner so we're going to equip it to our a assault core so now our a is counted as a tuner and then we're going to be able to use samsara as well as our a assault core to go into hot red dragon arch fiend abyss which is an insanely powerful card by the way all right and then what we're going to do here is we're going to use our a assault core effect to actually add back our torque tune gear now you guys might be wondering what are, what are we abusing torque tune gear for well we still haven't used the ancient buried dragon second effect where we could summon a level four or lower monster so we're going to summon our torque tune gear back and then we're going to be able to use the both of those to go into a crystal wing so now we're still ending on this crystal wing plus the heart run abyss plus the regulus plus we're going to be ending on an abc so regardless this combo is still going to end on a ton of disruptions here as you guys can see and then you also have options right because you guys saw we made the crystal wing however you guys can make ip mascarena here instead right if you use the torque tune plus the ancient fairy dragon that could easily have been an ip mascarena as well right so you have one disruption two disruption three disruption four disruption here so at a minimum four disruptions had you had gone your ip mascarena you could have gone ip plus some of the pieces to get the apple so it could be four to seven or eight disruptions that's that's insane depending on the board you want to make you have between four and seven to eight disruptions and this is opening the union driver which if you're playing only one is a brick and essentially you can't get the second one from your deck so this is a way to play around opening the one-up driver so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy now keep in mind with abc there's a lot of different combo lines there's a lot of different things you guys can do the deck is not very linear in how it plays but i hope in today's video you guys got to see some combos that are really important some combos that you need to know to be successful with this deck and just show you how powerful this deck can really be now if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu -Gi -Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel deck profiles combo videos dual replays all that good stuff you guys are gonna get it right here on the channel plus we have shorts five days a week so you guys are always gonna have something to watch and there's gonna be a little bit of everything for you guys to watch now i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you and with that stay close sign and out peace